Welcome back to our channel. In this episode, we're heading over to the York Christmas markets with friends. We try a different one each year. Although we've never been to the markets at York before, we have used the campsite that we're going to stop at. Our journey from Lancashire to our campsite near York is about an hour and a half. We're heading east across the M62 in Saddleworth Moor and we're going to find somewhere to stop for lunch on the way. As lunchtime approached, we pulled off to find somewhere to eat and we went into the village of Ascombe Richard. Now we saw a large building which we thought might be a nice manor house. It was a local prison. However, across the road was a garden centre and the cafe did a brilliant six pound meal deal sandwich, cake and a drink. We're staying at Cherry Tree Cottage Campsite which is near Nether Popperton. The owners are motorhomers so they know what you need. There's about 15 hard standing pitchers all with electricity and there's Wi-Fi available. There is a tap for water but no toilet block. There's somewhere you can empty your toilets and there's bins available for you to use as well. As you come out the campsite to your left is the village of Nether Popperton and there's a couple of pubs here. We ate at the White Horse which is very good and I'd pre-booked that before we left. To the right you can find a bus stop into York across the road. All the cycle lanes can take you in which we cycled last time we stayed here, but we've been with friends this time and a bit cooler, we jumped on the bus. The bus cost us £4 return for an individual, or there was a group ticket which was £10 for five people. Karen and Martin, the campsite owners, had given us all city plans with a guide to where the different areas of the Christmas markets were. So it was quite easy for us to be able to navigate our way around to find what we wanted. As well as all your usual Christmas market stalls, within the Guild Hall were some independent traders that we're offering something a little bit different, so be sure to head into there too. As you'd expect, the Christmas markets were really busy, so we did have to stop for refreshments every now and then and the bars were equally as busy, so we didn't always get a seat, but it gave us a rest from walking for a while. As darkness fell, the city was lit up by all the Christmas lights and it did look beautiful and we felt very festive. In the evening, we'd had a meal booked at Mel Maison, and from there, we took a minibus back to the campsite, which cost us 19 pounds. All in all, we'd recommend York for a visit during the Christmas markets. <laughs> 